Women got jobs painting luminescent radium on clock dials. These radium girls would lick the tips of their brushes to get a finer point for painting the radium onto these clocks. And some of these women even painted the radium on their fingernails or even their teeth. But before the Great Depression began, five radium girls started getting sores, anemia, bone fractures, necrosis of the jaw, and even cancer. Because when it's ingested, the body treats radium like calcium, so the radium went straight to their bones. So they sued the Radium Luminous Material Corporation for damages because the radium was doing the men. In an effort to avoid liability, the Radium Luminous Material Corporation even tried to suggest that the radium girls actually had syphilis. Really, <laughs> that's what they said. So although the corporation was very careful to not expose themselves to radium, they apparently didn't have the same concern for their employees. So the radium girls may now be known for bringing on labor laws, but scientists, five years after the cases were settled, could still measure radium in the exhaling of one of the painting employees. I wonder if there was enough radium on their breath to give these radium girls a radioactive glow. <laughs> because at one point, radium was even added to toothpastes and hair creams because people believed radium had curative powers. Imagine going to a spa with radium-rich water, because if you tell anything to people in just the right way, you'll be amazed at what people will believe.